Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Upstate Speed Tests. We are here in Endwell, New York, and today we're going to test another upgraded Verizon Ultra Wideband site as that car beams the hell out of me. Anyway, uh, you'll have to settle for an intro with old drone footage of this site because, well, it's dark and I don't feel like getting the drone wet as it's currently raining. So, uh, yeah, intro right now. Everybody, welcome back. So as I was saying in the intro, we've got yet another Verizon site with stepped up backhaul. And we've got the Z Fold 7 right here. The iPhone 17 Pro Max down there. And the Pixel 10 Pro XL. We'll test all three of them at the same time. But Verizon's really the star of the show here as now they have a site with stepped up backhaul finally. Prior to this, you'd be lucky to get three or 400 down as the site was probably using gigabit backhaul, but now it's multi-gig and we're getting 1.1 gigabits per second on the down, just over it, almost two actually. 28 millisecond ping, 600 for the loaded on the down, which isn't great. 124 on the loaded for the up, which is great for wireless anyway, or 5G. 7 millisecond jitter. AT&T is on a macro on a hilltop nearby, pulling 320 down. So honestly, AT&T is probably obstructed by this little bit of a hill behind us there. But still very, you know, very respectable speeds. Nobody would complain. And T-Mobile getting 412. So let's see, we were going to the Empire Access server, AT&T, and Verizon. So let's switch it up. We'll change the server on all three of these uh, providers here. City of Sherburn on that one. And T-Mobile will change to Cornell. So here we go, all three providers once again. And sorry in advance if this image quality isn't great. The iPad Pro probably does not do the best with nighttime recording, but it is what it is. We'll make it work, right? So just over a gig for Verizon going out of network. A little bit slower than the in-network test. Not terrible, though. Much more respectable loaded ping times now. AT&T pulling the same 326. If I were testing AT&T just a little bit further down the road, we would be out of the radio shadow from the hill and we'd be pulling closer to a gig. Same thing with T-Mobile. I think T-Mobile's suffering a little bit of radio shadow over here. Uh, so yeah, uh, coming up next, we'll thank our friends at Circled In and then we'll come back and we'll do the coverage map test just for kicks. Circled In can help you join an existing family plan to save money and then we'll come right back. Today's video is brought to you by CircledIn.com. Circled In is a website that'll let you split the cost of a wireless family plan to help you save money on your wireless bill. CircledIn.com's beautifully designed website has no credit checks, can help you save up to $480 a year, and there's no contract, so you can switch providers anytime you want or anytime it works for you. If we click the All Circles button, CircledIn.com's easy-to-use website allows you to search for a plan you want, filter by carrier, and filter by price from low to high. As you can see here, we have some examples up on the screen, like Verizon's Unlimited Plus plan for $45 a month, a savings that the website says is about 36% and uh, Verizon Unlimited Welcome, which the website says 
is a savings of 71% at $20 a month. Once you find the circle you want, you can click Join Circle, and the website will give you an easy-to-understand breakdown of the costs and savings and benefits that come along with that plan. So check them out today at CircledIn.com. Circled In will help you save a ton of money on your wireless bill, and they also have great support for your plan as well. All right, everybody, welcome back. We've got Verizon going to Montreal, Canada. Oh, Canada. Anyway... We're still pulling over 500 down, 600, so not that far off. And over 100 on the upload, so that's pretty incredible. Again, the site is right in front of us on the... That's the elevator shaft to that building right there, and then Verizon's on top, and Dish is on the sides, although I'm sure they'll be going away soon. All right, let's do T-Mobile next. T-Mobile is going to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania with a 36 millisecond unloaded ping. Again, no loaded ping data on this test. And we're going to be getting right about 200 on the down. And a little over 20 on the up. And then let's uh, let's do AT and T. Last but not least, we've got a 65 millisecond lo unloaded ping and approaching 300 on the download. Getting a little blurry there. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. So yeah, interesting test location. But the main point of this video was to show you guys the newly stepped up backhaul for Verizon here on this site. And uh, yeah, it's needed it for a long time. AT&T and T-Mobile suffering a little bit of radio shadow from the hill, but if I had tested just down the road, they'd be getting gigabit speeds too. But yeah, how nice is it to have multi-gig service on Verizon? Let's run one more Verizon test just for kicks. We'll go to DC, that one's usually pretty quick. Sorry about the sideways angle here, I forgot to slide my chair back, but whatever. All right, 35 millisecond unloaded ping. And again, pulling over, well, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit better this time, 700 on the down. So yeah, multi-gig, what a great thing. Let me know down in the comments, how many sites in your area is Verizon missing stepped up backhaul on or has no ultra wideband altogether. In my area, there's only one site left I can think of that doesn't have the ultra wideband equipment, but there's quite a few sites where the backhaul has not been stepped up and you're still getting what's basically LTE speeds on a 5G connection, but it's slowly uh, but surely improving now. And it'll also be interesting to see that dark apartment complex down there is brand new and that's bringing another 200 apartments to the area. So it'll be interesting to see with all the new residents that are gonna move in there, if this site will get some loading on it, at least on one of the sectors, whatever sector is facing to the south over there. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick that on the iPad now, because it has a phone app with a dialer, you can actually pull up the field test app on iPad, and I have that running in the background and I'm running a speed test in another window. We're getting a 33 millisecond unloaded ping. And wow, the speeds just got a lot better. Yep, 200 megahertz of N77. And what else do we have running? We got LTE running, but it doesn't show you a band or a bandwidth. Oh, there, there it is, 10 megahertz of N66. So yeah, there you go. Almost 1.5 gigabits per second on the down. On iPad, now that you can actually run field test mode, it's pretty, pretty interesting to see.